Along the safety of this wall they walk, livid atrocities across the sea, rise in injustice crying out to us, and to my sorrow on deaf ears they land. A crimson snow began to fall, whales ran over old men and boys beneath the trees, daughters seized, mothers kneeling, beg and plead. For soldiers' mercy, stop the rapist hand. My eyes are blind, yet I see ignorant. Layered veils securing absurdity. I've walked with refugees. With a glance beheld their pain. They spoke with dignity. What's freedom to the free? Inconvenience? Unbind your thoughts. Move past self-polity. This next poem, um, this was one of my first actual proper poems and it was written in fifth grade and it's titled, I Am. I am from an unfinished patchwork quilt, my mother's poems unwritten, from fruit striped gum, apple farm hot cider. I am from a tiny studio apartment. It feels cozy and all we can afford. I am from the fresh lavender, the violets, tiny indigo flowers. I am from the gatherings at Christmas, my Texican grandparents, and a bola of cousins. I am from the loud talkers and music lovers. I am from mi abuelita Violeta, who prays for me, making the sign of the cross. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. Amen. I am from tamales, horchata, and tacos. From the long, dangerous walk my father made to be here. I am from headstrong people, cabezuda, determined to be heard. I am no shrinking violet. Thank you. <laughs> my next poem is titled, Who I Represent, and it's also a new poem. I'm here for those who understand the fear of la chancla, el cinturón, or the raised eyebrow of disapproval. <laughs> I'm here for every shade of brown, from the fairest of hueras to the coconuts, potatoes, pochas, and hardcore chicanas. Tu sabes, educated, brows on fleek, proud of their melanin, proud of their curves. I'm here for the sneaker or high-heeled wearing individuals. I'm here for those who need a hug, I'm here to represent the quiet ones, to let them know that they have a voice too. Dear quiet ones, take a deep breath, write what you feel, what you think. Arm yourself with your strongest weapon, a pen. I'm here for the thick ones because we all love a thick sister, but please don't be calling us gorditas, tu sabes. Call us fierce, call me little giant. I'm here for las muy muys, las cabezudas, headstrong, stubborn like me. I'm here for the taco truck loving ones. Most importantly, I'm here for the ones who paved roads less traveled, those who remind us que si se puede, las chingonas, the baddest perras. <laughs> This next poem is dedicated to mi gente or those who don't understand how immigration affects a child. It's titled, I Faked a Smile. I Faked a Smile. Kids do it all the time without being told. They call Los Angeles a sanctuary city. But one day, there was a harsh knock on my door. It pounded and shook our tiny studio apartment. There they were. Five or six policemen, green vests, letters I-C-E stitched across their backs. ICE, Immigration and Custom Enforcement. La Migra, guns and unmarked black car just like the movies. At the door they ask for someone else, a different guy, a different name. My mom says, he doesn't live here, we don't know him. Ma'am, can you let us confirm this, they ask in their serious voice. My mom and I held hands, crying in the middle of the street. I never knew how long and deep my street was until this day. At school, we are scared. My friends and I live in fear. 
How can we learn Common Core when the core of our hearts are breaking? I cannot imagine my life without him. He is my stepfather. I call him Beto. To me, he is a chavo del ocho, el loco, el gordito, el Beethoven. <laughs> el que se cree muy, tú sabes. <laughs> but now he is known as A20571224. A stands for alien belonging to a foreign country or nation, an illegal alien. He was taken away early that morning for an unpaid parking ticket from 2006. No time left, we did not say goodbye. I held back the tears all day and I faked a smile. Now when I visit him, he wears a lime green jumper. My hand is small, his is big, the glass is cold between our hands. When families are torn apart by, bo by borders and laws, it hurts. When you take our people away, it hurts. I have a question for you, Mr. President. Una pregunta. In addition to corn, dairy, labor, and musica, why can't we start to export education, love, compassion, solutions, educación, amor, soluciones, like a plus sign that adds to, instead of a division line, complicated and long? Why can't the, why can't the border be a line of love? Thank you. My next poem is titled, Brown Girl Holocaust. Word on the street, are you legal or illegal? They will look at our brown skin and ask if we have papers. I'm a couple years younger than Anne Frank when she wrote about her life during the Holocaust in World War II. In World War III, there will not be little girls' memories written. They won't ask if we are Jews. They won't tattoo our parents' arm with their A number. Word on the street, are you legal or illegal? My next poem is an acrostic and it's titled Mexican. My father never knew that wanting a better life would get him arrested. Everything that required proof of identification was challenging, except when he was with his family. Then he didn't need to prove what a great father he is. I never understood how difficult it is for him to live life not knowing whether today would be his last day with me. Counting days endlessly until it finally hits you, I will never see him again. Any time, any day, this could happen. So I hug him as tight as I can. No, mija, he says, I will never leave. My next poem is titled, Under a Constant Shadow of Fear, and it's a pantoum. We sailed across a deep, sad sea. Every second of every minute, fed on tuna from our hard catch. Nights cold as life. Every second of every minute, lived while life loved. Nights cold as life. Days sharp with pain, lived while life loved. Falling from the hard day's work, days sharp with pain, the hours, knives in my heart. Falling from the hard day's work, he was taken away early that morning, the hours, knives in my heart, no time left, we did not say goodbye. He was taken away early that morning, fed on tuna from our hard catch, no time left, we did not say goodbye, we sailed across the deep, sad sea. My next poem is titled, The Language of My Father. I speak the language of my father. Over time, it seems like I've forgotten the meaning of the words I used to remember. The ones that easily rolled off my tongue, the ones he sang to me. I'm older, but now he has to correct my Spanish more than he used to. Should I feel ashamed for forgetting? Should I be ashamed? Antes me contabas las historias de la niña y el lobo. Before, you used to tell me about the stories of the wolf and the girl. I worry that as I get older, I will forget more and more about my dad's language. It's bad enough I forget where I place my backpack at school. Once I spoke the language of my father, it will never go. Nunca se va a ir. And that is 
all I have for you guys today. <laughs>